I wanted to try and do a quick kind of uh, explainer for you about the latest development with Phil Schofield from a strategic media play. Uh, and there's three kind of factors to this. The first is that you're supposed to believe that Phil Schofield's management agency have cut ties with him. And that may be true. Externally, his former management agency may have cut ties. But behind scenes, clearly a very sophisticated uh, media comms um, management is at play. His daughter still works, I believe, for his former management agency. Somewhere in here is a master of PR managing this latest Phil Schofield mere culpa. And the key thing to remember about all of this is the positioning. So this PR strategy is about positioning Phil Schofield as victim. And this clever PR team have been able to get him a very, very softly, softly interview, very friendly with Amal Rajan. So Amal from the BBC has come along, this PR agency are managing, they obviously have control of the whole situation. It's a very, very soft interview, allowing for the full mea culpa narrative to come out. I'm so sorry, I couldn't be more apologetic. I apologise to everyone, I'm so sorry. Two main levers that are being pulled here. Number one is for him to be able to talk about just how bad things are, and that's been made worse by mistruths. It allows him to direct his ire at Dan Wooten, it fires a kind of warning shot across Dan Wooten's bow because you, you may think Dan Wooten, as I do, is a complete cretin. And, but that's irrelevant right now. It's saying, stop with what you're doing because look at me, I'm the victim. And so it's getting them all to back off. It's a basically someone shouting, back off because look, I'm going to point the finger of wrath at you. The second lever that's been pulled uh, at Phil's disposal, and he's been educated school to pull on these levers, is Caroline Flack. And uh, none of us deserve to speak of Caroline Flack. So this is about the lever that's being pulled, the suicide lever. And um, by pulling this, it's actually a very clever strategy, as disgusting as this sounds, but PR and media is disgusting, because it says, I'm on the edge, I'm desperate, therefore back off. So, so the clear line is position Phil as victim, messaging back off. Firstly, by firing a, a direct line at Dan Wooten and anybody speaking out against him. And then secondly, by pulling this horrible Caroline Flack lever, which is just revolting. Now you see exactly what's happened because of this clever work. People who smell PR, who know PR, have worked out their best strategy is to go into neutral ground, it to be the good guy, which is why immediately you see Dan Walker from Channel 5 and you see Piers Morgan come out and say, guys, for goodness sake, he's had enough. Look at the state that he's in. Back off. People need to stop with the nastiness. Dan Walker from the church of Dan Walker, the little angel who never does anything wrong. I think everyone needs to get the help that they need. I wish everybody well. Just word salad stuff so that both Dan and Piers have tweets they can rely on should anything dastardly happen. And it allows them to be the good guys and it inoculates themselves, which is all they're doing. They're inoculating themselves against anything bad that might happen. But what they're also doing, if you notice, it's allowing themselves to still be part of the conversation, even though really they've had nothing much to say. So that's the other thing you need to be aware of is what the movements from the other media actors are and, and the, the motivations for them. And then finally, and probably most importantly of all, um, so you've got the Sun interview. The Sun have obviously scored this interview because they have all of the dirt on Phil. They've had it for a very, very long time and it's given them leverage and kudos over other outlets and they've been able to score this interview because of that. But because of this very soft uh, interview with the BBC that's been played everywhere and because the Sun have also had their interview with the Mia Culpa. What's actually happened is you've been faced with a wall of noise, 
press coverage, press coverage, and the wall of noise says, Phil is the victim and everybody better back off. And the most important thing for you to hear, despite all of this noise, Dan, Piers, The Sun, BBC, Clips Everywhere, Twitter, Caroline Flack, is cut out that noise and listen to what's not being said. What's not being said is that three plus years ago, everybody knew The Sun, Phil Schofield, everybody up and down the chain of power are ITV, people that brought in the crisis management to deal with the secret. Um, the very top bosses knew, everybody knew, we all knew. This was known about. And the only thing that's changed, and the thing that this clever PR company what don't want you to think about because of all the noise, the only thing that's changed is that now everybody knows some of the truth. And that's the actual fact that Phil Schofield, his press team, and the comms team behind all of this don't want you to talk about. That actually nothing has changed. Everyone was very content to continue to hide all of this. The only thing that changed is that Phil Schofield got found out.